your research. Do your research. It's okay to see these videos out here. And I'm going to say something. I want these people to stop lying. Go on, tell the truth. Go on, tell the truth. You sitting up in somebody else's truck making videos about super ego like you making all that money. Baby, you ain't making no money. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. Fortunately, Super Eagle claims another victim. Unfortunate for this young lady right here. Guys, go over there and support this young lady, Empress P, the trucker. She had a journey with Super Eagle. Got down to a situation to go pick up the truck. And unfortunately, that truck wasn't all that cracked up to be. Now listen, before you guys sign any type of lease agreement, if you sign anything, make sure you check out that vehicle before you put your name on the dotted line. If you go to get yourself a car, Make sure you take it out for a test drive. Same thing if you go to Super Eagle. For a lease agreement, make sure you go out there, check out the truck, hop in the truck, look around the truck, drive the truck, and see if the truck is up to par before you even decide to sign on the dotted line. Because once you sign on the dotted line for something, you're pretty much locked into it. But unfortunately for this young lady and the story that she about to tell of her time with Super Ego. I just want to let you guys know that, hey, it's crazy. It's crazy to sign on for something thinking that you're going to get a good vehicle to run with only to find out that you're going to pick up somebody else's mess. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Good morning, everybody. This Chuckin' with Empress P. And this is an update. I'm going to give you my true facts. I'm going to be honest. And I'm going to let you know just what the deal is with a super ego holding slash try times, Inc. And I want people to hear me and hear me well. But there is a program called SAP substance abuse program and i did everything that i supposed to have to did that was right i went and recovered a truck a truck that i was i signed the contract to pay for a truck and a trailer and i don't care who don't like this video faithfully trusting these people thinking that you know the truck that i was going to be recovering was going to be workable the truck was out of service i went on a friday night when i got there I noticed damage. Now, mind you, if you're going to pay for a $159,000 truck, baby, you better know what you're doing when you're dealing with me, okay? I sat up in that truck from Friday up until Wednesday. Truck still wasn't legal to drive. I'm giving you true facts about my journey. Ain't got nothing to do with you. I laid up in that truck, TA Express, from Friday up until day before yesterday, okay? While I was laying up in that truck, you uh, people that's grown, please make good decisions for yourself. I did what I needed to do. I had a clear understanding that I'm thinking that I have attached myself to get back up in the trucking industry because I had only one way out and that was the return to duty process. I did that with my name on it and put my name on the dotted nine. But hear me, don't be so vulnerable that you would sit up and allow somebody to dig a hole and you don't know that hole was specific for them, right? I don't go on other people's opinion when it come down to me. I got upset with myself when I lay up in that all those days, allowing people to tell me this, that, and the other. We all make mistakes, but we must get up, okay? Now, today, I am not in Tampa, Florida. Number two, no, I am not 
with super ego, super ego holding slash trying time. Yeah. Where I picked that truck and trailer, thinking I was finna go and get some work and get on the road, that's exactly where I left that truck and trailer at. Yeah. Pamela is gonna do what is best for her. I have responsibilities, okay? I said I borrowed money to get me to a company that I felt was good, regardless of what the ratings was on this company, I still gave them the benefit of the doubt. Still gave you the benefit of the doubt. Send another fool to go and get that truck and trailer because I'm not that. I don't believe in starving, baby. I eat good. Whether I was in a truck, whether I was in the position of having a, having a return to duty. And it's my responsibility to get up out of that truck and go to work because I came there ready to work to make a truck note that don't even work make a trailer note that don't even work could not move that truck or trailer it didn't have a DOT federal annual inspection sticker I wish I would go and break the law and put my handprint on anything that's up under the federal motor carrier I am not with try time. When try time tried me the way they did, I had to make a sound decision to say, oh, I picked the wrong company. Because we do pick companies. Just like companies receive you, you picked them. That was my fault. I ain't gonna let nobody disturb me because I made the wrong decisions for another chance. Yeah. Yeah, don't count yourself out. You always supposed to have a plan to back up the backup plan to back up that backup plan just in case something falls through. And you will always be employable, okay? You will always be employable. Yeah, and abandon something that wasn't even working. Somebody else know what they was doing when they went and took that vehicle and parked it. Multiple things wrong with that vehicle. Multiple and God found favor for me not to be able to move that big move that vehicle. Not one mile did I put on that vehicle. Got there on a Friday evening and stayed there the whole time until another door that God opened up for me. To come to the conclusion, the way as Pam, you done made a mistake. You didn't do your research. Do your research. Do your research. It's okay to see these videos out here. And I'm going to say something. I want these people to stop lying. Go on, tell the truth. Go on, tell the truth. You sitting up in somebody else's truck making videos about super ego like you making all that money. Baby, you ain't making no money. Stop playing with me. You ain't making no money. You ain't making no money. So, like, you can say what you want to say because I done experienced it. Orientation, I gave what I seen. When I got to that truck, I gave what I felt that was good enough to put out here on YouTube. I hope you're not with that company. No, baby, Pam ain't still sitting up in a truck that I'm, I'm, I got to get repairs done for it to be legal to drive it. Mm, yeah, it's about making money, baby. I ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. But don't force me to poop, okay? Because I will. When you making decisions, you better know what you doing. You better know what you, what you coming around. You better know anything that you a messed up decision to choose a company that was no good for me. Okay? It's always a way to do things, but make sure you honest when you doing it. Make sure you are totally transparent when you are doing it. Okay, I am grateful not to be in that truck anymore. I am grateful to make that decision because the contract was already. When I went to that truck and I could not move that truck, that contract became none avoid. My life has went forward. I am not with Super Ego and I'm still going to give you my blogs. you got to make that right decision, baby. It's coffee time now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So no, when that contract was breached because I could not crank it up and roll, thank God. I thank God. I ain't mad with nobody, baby. I'm not no disgruntled contractor deal when it come down to that circumstances that I was in sitting up in that doggone truck from Friday 
to win. Mm, gave you time. Gave you my attention. Yeah. Now, go and send somebody to recover that truck and trailer. And tell them they could thank me later. I am grateful that I am no longer. They weren't talking no money. I'm staying in a truck that I supposed to have a win and recover. They failed to disclose that it was damage done. I got the video. The run, the go, the back of tequila, I mix it all up and I swear that I need none of them. My pocket if it ain't about the water, none of them. My mind if it ain't about the time, none of them. My wrist if it ain't about the time, no ways, none of them. Now we gon' be fine. Hey, there's so many battles, so my left and my right. Hey, take a shot for all of your problems, we ain't worried about them tonight. It's called shot burning.